Look. God is looking for a generation that won't run and hide, but will rise up and challenge the very darkness. Satan is not going to go away on its own. Strongholds don't go away on their own. Problems that attack your family spiritually, they don't go away on its own. They must be challenged and they must be brought down. The reason that it still rises is because it has not been defeated. Somebody says, this thing keeps coming back. You haven't defeated it yet. Sometimes you knock it down and you walk away. The Bible says to bring it into captivity. You got to bind it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Watch this. God's looking for people that are challenged the darkness, like David, who was willing to fight Goliath. Tell your neighbor, all he's got is a rock, but Goliath is going down. Like Joshua, who's willing to walk around six days and say nothing. But on the seventh day, there's going to be a wall falling shout up in that place. Like Daniel, who's told not to pray, but we're going to find him in a lion's den praying anyway to an angel shows up and shuts the lion's mouth. Like the three Hebrew boys that said, you know what? We not bowing. I don't care what you do to me. I'm not about to bow. And while they're thrown in the fire, all of a sudden, there's a fourth man that shows up in the middle of the fire. You see, God is looking for a generation that will rise up and respond to his word no matter what they see no matter what they feel no matter what they're going through no matter what their circumstances is sometimes we wait and we think that oh my god I'm only going to praise God when the situation changes I got news for you you got to praise him until the situation changes I don't praise him while I come out I praise him while I'm in I praise him while I'm in pain I praise him while I'm in trouble I praise him when I'm surrounded by the enemy and that's why God told Jehoshaphat he said Jehoshaphat uh, fear not uh, for the battle is not yours uh, but it's the Lord's uh, what did he tell him to do he said tomorrow send me out a group of crazy people that dare to believe uh, that if they worship and praise me in the midst of their enemy that I the Lord will send down ambushments uh, and fight against their enemies uh, he said tomorrow morning uh, turn around and tell your neighbor tomorrow God said tomorrow, high five your neighbor and say tomorrow. What does tomorrow mean? Tell your neighbor what God was saying was this. In 24 hours, your enemy's coming down. In 24 hours, you're going to be healed. In 24 hours, you're going to be delivered. In 24 hours, your battle's over. Shout! He said to Jehoshaphat, he said, you're going to find them by the cliff of Ziz. Look at your neighbor and say, by the cliff of Ziz. You didn't say it like I told you to say it. Say, you're going to find them. You got to say, him. Do it again. You're going to find them by the cliff of Ziz. Do you know what that revelation means? God knows where your enemy is. God knows what your enemy's planning. God knows what your enemy's gonna do. And God's gonna show you before he does it. High five three people and tell them, God's about to uncover your enemy's plans. Wow! You know what that means? The devil can't trick me. The devil can't fool me. The devil can't stop me. God already knows what he's gonna do before he even does it. God said tomorrow, send out Judah. Tell your neighbors that we gotta send out Judah. Who is Judah? Judah's the worship team. Judah's the praisers. Judah is the shouters. Judah are the people that stand to their feet and give God a praise before God even does anything. Do you want to know why Judah can praise God? They said, wait a minute. You mean to tell me you want us to go to battle against an army that's got weapons and you just want us to shout with no bow and arrow, with no shield, with no sword, with no weapon. God said, that's exactly what I mean. Because when you shout, God said, I'll be your
your sword. I'll be your shield. I'll be your battle axe. God said tomorrow, when you go against him, go against him with the biggest praise you ever gave him in your life. For the next 30 seconds, if you got anything you're facing, give God the biggest praise you ever gave him in your life. Praise him over here. Praise him over here. Praise him in the back. Praise. Shout! 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 You better keep praising him! That's another enemy falling. That's another enemy falling. That's another enemy falling. Your debt is being canceled. Your body's being healed.